drivers use NJ Transit to commute every day, and that commute is about to get more expensive. Yeah, as cash, the cash strapped agency is announcing proposed fare hikes for the first time since 2015. A lot of people not happy about this. Briella Tomasetti is live at the Hoboken NJ Transit Terminal. It's about to get busy there this morning. Briella, what's going on? Yeah, Dan and Tashani, tell us something we don't know, right? I mean, fares and prices are going up just about everywhere, but this would be the first fare hike on New Jersey's train and bus network since Governor Murphy took office. Uh, even the ridership has bounced back to about 80% of its pre-pandemic levels. That is, according to officials, not enough to balance the budget. To make matters even worse, New Jersey Transit is about to run out of billions of dollars in federal aid. For the first time in a decade, New Jersey transit officials are proposing a fare hike slated to take effect on July 1st. If the measure passes, commuters would have to dish out 15% more per ride and 3% in annual fare increases. Well, that's a little ridiculous. That's way too much. So what will it look like? A one-way bus ticket from Jersey City to Port Authority bus terminal will go up from $3.50 to $4, but a ticket from Tom's River to Port Authority will go up from $21.25 to $24.40 an increase of $3.15. A one-way train ticket from Princeton Junction to Penn Station will jump from $16 to $18.40, an increase of $2.40. That's crazy. That's crazy already. It's $15 just to go to the city. What's it going to be now? $18 bucks, and then soon we'll get to 20 Last July, New Jersey Transit estimated a $119 million budget deficit for the next fiscal year, attributed in part to a drop in ridership since the pandemic. The agency plans to reduce that deficit through a combination of $44 million in cost reductions and $52 million in revenue enhancements. But executives say a fare hike is needed to close the remaining gap and will do so without reducing service, at least for now. The financial situation, the financial outlook at New Jersey Transit is frankly pretty dire right now. Jackie Cohen of the Tri-State Transportation Campaign says New Jersey Transit has been racing towards an almost billion-dollar fiscal cliff by 2026, with low ridership resulting in the loss of nearly $2 billion in fares. She criticized Governor Murphy for not acting sooner to prevent riders from dealing with this added financial burden. To our knowledge, the governor hasn't really engaged in any kind of meaningful discussion around ways to find operating funding from the state to pay to fix this operating cliff. Yeah, and if you're affected by this, here is what you need to know. New Jersey Transit will hold 10 in-person public meetings in 10 different New Jersey counties between March 4th and March 8th before the plan is up for a vote by the Board of Directors. If you can't attend one of those meetings in person, you can, of course, always send in your comments online or via mail. For now, we're live here in Hoboken.